Hello everyone. Welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing about events. So first of all, what is an event? So my dear friends, events are the special records which are captured by the system when any condition happened. And that condition can be any action. Let me show you. Let's say I want to change short description. So I'm changing the short description. It means I'm doing some action. Some condition is happening. This can be an event. I am updating the caller can be an event. I am changing the date can be an event. Adding a new record in a table, deleting a record, updating the record or modifying the record in any way. Any of these actions can be interpreted as an event and all these events get stored in a sys event table. Let me show you. This is the event table and this is the name of the event you see here. In this way, you can define your own event, whatever deems necessary, as well as there are thousands of out of box events which are created by ServiceNow itself. Okay, so first of all, you have to register the event. So how to register the event? You can go here to event registry. In the system policy, there is an event module and you see here registry, click on it. So this is the event registry table where you see there are around 661 out of box events which are available. So in this way by clicking new you can create your own event. Okay, any event which you want to trigger which you want to use. So let me open this one. You see this is the event name. This is how you have to write the event name. So we have to write the event name in such a way so that it can be easily understood when someone else look into it. Okay. So this event will be fired when RITM is inserted whenever you click on order now on the service catalog item and it is fired by business rule. So let me copy this and now let's go to the business rule which is firing this. So go to system definition business rule. So here we can search it. Let's say the script contains this okay so you see here SCREQ item event so this is the business role which is firing that event so you have to see the connection first of all you register the event then that event will be fired by the business rule you see here the event will be SCREQ item inserted so here you see SCREQ item inserted it means whenever the current operation is insert that is new record of RITM is inserted it is firing this event and you see this event is being fired by this particular function which is known as event queue. So whenever you want to fire the event you have to use ts.event queue and this is the syntax okay let me show you in the wiki. These parameters are the very first one is the name of the event so you see here this is the name of the event it's good so these two param1 and param2 parameters are used to pass the record information to other parts of the system that is if you want to pass the current system sysid or value of any of the field in that case you can use these two parameters okay these are not mandatory you can skip these as well but generally we use it so this is param1 here we are passing the current object and in param2 we are passing the user id of the logged in user as well as in the last parameter we are passing the user name of the logged in user so the major use of these events are to create notification or to trigger notification whenever any event occur you see here the very first tab which is when to send it is when record is inserted or updated or when an event is fired okay so once you select event is fired then you have to select the event name and these events names are coming from the registry where you have registered your event okay so whenever this condition satisfied okay this notification will be sent to the users you have selected here so this is how we make the connection between event, business rule and email notifications. So friends, this is all about the events. If you have any question, let us know in the comment section. 
see you in next video till then subscribe to the channel thank you so much bye bye